Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Carlos here with Backyard Diesels. Um, I'm just going to do a little short video on a 6.7 uh, injector failure. Uh, <coughs> the power stroke. This pertains, this goes to all of them, all injectors. It doesn't matter. Just We've seen it a lot, we've repaired a lot, and there's just different uh, issues on different injectors that were improperly installed. So if you're a type of person, do it yourself. That's cool. Just look up the specs. Make sure you do everything the way you're supposed to. Diesel is a little bit different than working on a gasoline or um, lawnmower or something. Right now I'm sitting on a LML Duramax. It's a little drizzling, so um, it's nothing too big, but it caused uh, major damage to this truck. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Uh, I guess I could explain it in, in, in Spanish. Um, but mainly just by looking at the, um, video here, you guys could pretty much tell right off the back what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> so right now I have everything removed. Um, I'm fixing to walk over to the truck. It's kind of driven a little bit harder now. Um, just to what happened to this, uh, truck. So let's get to it. Um, let's check this thing out real quick. So. Here we go. Let's walk up over there. <coughs> okay, here's the truck. Um, mamalones, mamalones. That's son los chingones de backyard diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright fellas, here we go. Here's the injector. This is what an injector, I removed one of the other ones just to show you guys what it's supposed to look like. And this is what happened to this one because it was improperly installed. If you can tell, this one's missing the copper washer, just like this one. So someone installed this injector without realizing this copper washer, washer wasn't on there. So we were losing compression on cylinder six, which I'm fixing to show you. We're gonna have to replace the cylinder head on it. And there's no way around it. So let me show you what happened to this engine. No, no, I don't. On tell me little steps too. Oh. You got my light. On my light. Hold on, fellas. Let me get my flashlight. Let me see. Let me just see that one. Here's the. What happened? Oh, shoot. Alright, so, so it, it feels like an injector problem. If you could, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Let me see if I can get it in an angle. Damn, I don't think you'd be able to. Oh, let me see. I don't know if you could see it. Can you turn on the flashlight on this thing? Kind of a little better. It's kind of hard to see. Well, anyways. Um. That's the damaged one, and this is what it's supposed to look like. So what happened was, it they forgot to put the seal on there, uh, on the injector, copper washer, and there's no way around it. You'd have to pull the cylinder head off. And we were losing compression uh, due to the compression was coming straight out, like if it didn't have the injector on there. Um, so... I don't know whether if this guy replaced it himself, didn't realize it, he didn't have it on. <coughs> Things raining a little harder again. Um, he, he didn't realize uh, it wasn't in there or anything. And I could show you here, let me close the hood on this thing. Um, what, what happened, it was uh, cylinder six uh, was losing compression. Here's a... Uh, this is cylinder six, this is the upper valve cover. You could see all this diesel fluid coming up out of there because there was no nothing that compressed. This injector was improperly set. 
So, and I could tell right off the back somebody that didn't know that was working, they had all the clips for the return lines on the injectors uh, loose and uh, not snug, so most likely um, they were trying to pull out the plugs. They didn't know what they were doing, the return lines. Somebody did uh, injector work to this truck. And just on that injector, um, caused that damage. So, um, careful, make sure, don't take it to your gasoline uh, repair shop. <coughs> they might have a few guys in there that work on diesels, they may not, I don't know. But make sure they know exactly what they're doing. Um, I think this light's plugging. So, there you have it. Uh, injector failure, the injector, it's still working good, but I'm gonna end up replacing it, removing the uh, um, cylinder head, redoing the rockers. Might as well do it right the first time. I do not wanna go back in there, especially when you have a business um, and you don't follow procedures. Not just because I don't know the torque specs out of the top of my head. I'm gonna get back in my Duramax. Well, it's not mine, but it's mine while it's sitting at my shop. <coughs> so, there you have it. I just showed you a uh, little um, copper washer caused the uh, cylinder head to warp and not the cylinder head itself. So, if I'm lucky, um, I might be able to have that head um, remachined or if not, buy a new one. They're not that expensive. Uh, I think they're around 900 bucks, I believe. Each cylinder head somewhere in there. I don't know. I forgot. Um, but anyways, switching over to Spanish. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, if you guys need anything, comments, questions, uh, torque specs, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, be happy here. I'm usually pretty quick on uh, answering questions and so forth. So, all right then, fellas. Bueno, mi raza, este... <coughs> ya más o menos miraron lo que le pasó a esta se les olvidó meter el, el pedacito el, el washer de cobre que pues chingó la cabeza del cilindro de que el vaso donde va el inyector y pues para reemplazarlo bien si pones la washer para atrás ahorita va a caer bailando y va a ser el mismo pedo so, a huevo la cabeza tiene que salir y este eso es lo que pasó, alguien trabajó en esta troca, no, no supo lo que estaba haciendo. Um, y también otra cosa, no se les olvide reprogramar los inyectores, porque es muy uh, crítico reprogramarlos, agarrar las numeraciones, a resetear las, uh, pulgar bien el sistema, resetear las, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Los datos del sistema alta del diésel. Y bueno, ojalá este todo les ayude. Like and subscribe. Este, preguntas o algo que necesiten ayuda, aquí estamos para ayudarles. Bueno, muchas gracias a todos. Y que tengan buen día. Y hasta luego.